everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, you are live with IFMA. Um, today we are going to be discussing the facility management professional, the FMP credential, um, and building your foundation of FM knowledge. My name is Lauren Kruger. I am the Director of Sales Operations for IFMA. Um, I've been with IFMA for almost 10 years now. Um, started in the membership department and I'm now in our professional development sales department. So if at any point during the presentation you have questions on membership or conferences, um, I'm happy to answer those as we go through the presentation. Um, we will have some time at the end for some questions as well. If you want to hold questions till the the end, you're more than welcome to. Um, a little bit of information about me. I am actually located in Stavanger, Norway. So um, I've been here for a little bit over a year now. Our family relocated here um, in 2021 um, and we are loving Norway so far. It's been great and it's a, a great opportunity for me because I'm able to bring um, these presentations to you hopefully in a time that um, you are able to join us. Um, this presentation is recorded. Um, you, if you are watching from LinkedIn, you'll be able to see it in IFMA's um, LinkedIn feed throughout the day. You can return to it and watch it. Um, it will also be on IFMA's YouTube channel. If you're able to access Oop access YouTube, um, you'll see it there as well. Um, we will have another presentation at 11 a.m. Central European Summertime, and then uh, my colleagues in the United States will have a webinar session at 11 a.m. Um, Central Time in uh, North America. So um, if you want a colleague to watch this or a supervisor, there are those other times as well. Um, if for those joining, if you want to send um, some notes about where you are logging in from, it's great to see the uh, diverse audience we have. We have typically people that join, um, you know, from Singapore, Hong Kong, to Saudi Arabia, to places in Europe and Africa. So um, if you want to say hello um, and let us know where you're joining from, um, it's always great to see the diverse audience that we have. And I also want to mention um, Lara Payman. She is IFMA's Managing Director for IFMA EMEA. Um, she is available um, at lara.payman at ifma.org. And that is the URL for the IFMA EMEA website for those that are in um, the Europe and Middle East region. Um, she is also a resource for you there as well. So I want to start um, with a situation that has recently happened um, in the United States. Currently, um, the NBA um, playoffs are happening with the championship game um, currently going on. Um, I think they're going into game four or five now. I apologize. I'm not on my basketball knowledge, um, but that is occurring right now in uh, the United States. And this was a post from Lewis um, that discussed an issue with one of the games where they had to actually delay, um, pause the game because there was a leak in the roof that water was pouring out onto basketball court. Um, this is, you know, not a great situation. Um, and he, Lewis, had mentioned, I bet somebody had forgot to listen to the CapEx requests from the facility management team. Um, so this is an actual situation that occurred recently um, that really touches on facility management and why it is important for um, facility managers to have that seat at the C-suite, at that leadership table um, for situations like this. Um, and we're going to discuss um, the FMP program. Um, everything that you see happening in this picture um, is something that you will touch on and learn with the FMP, the facility management professional, um, you know, from finance and business training, you know, understanding what CapEx is and why you want to um, put forth a budget for um, 
you know, placing that in the CapEx requests to leadership and strategy, having the um, leadership experience and training to put forth um, the facility management ideas to that C-suite level, um, to project management, carrying out the project of, you know, deferred maintenance and preventative and predictive maintenance, um, to the operations and maintenance of, of, you know, these of the building and the portfolio that you manage. So um, as FMs, you know, um, you are able to think on the spot and provide some quick fixes. Is there anything I'd love to hear any situations that you've had on the job where you had to implement a quick fix to um, a situation that had occurred? Um, and then, you know, what you kind of did to to remedy that situation um, as facility managers, you never see the same thing twice. Um, so you guys are always busy and, um, you know, fixing or or, um, you know, helping with issues throughout the day. So I'd love to hear some some stories that you had that um, resulted in some quick fixes of something that happened. Um, and just to touch on, we have some people um, joining us from the UK. Um, so hello, welcome. So we're going to mention a little bit about IFMA, who we are, what's our mission. So IFMA, if you are not familiar, is the International Facility Management Association. Um, we've been around for over 40 years. Um, we have local chapters in more than 100 countries and more than 20,000 members around the world. Um, chapters that you see on the screen there, um, 139 chapters in over 100 countries, those are going to be um, geographically based localities for practicing facility managers to network with other practicing facility managers. It's very likely you have a if a chapter in a country or city that you are residing in. So if you are not familiar with any chapter in your area, I encourage you to go to the IFMA website to see if there is a chapter in your area. It's a great way to network with other professionals. Um, a lot of the chapters also have educational activities and meetings that they get together with. Um, with. So if you are not familiar, if you have a chapter in your city, I do encourage you to go to that IFMA website to see if there is one in a local city near you. And IFMA's mission, mission is to advance the collective knowledge, you know, value and growth for facility management professionals to perform at the highest level. So as we saw in that previous slide with the situation of the roof leaking um, during an NBA playoff game, you know, it's so important to have knowledge and on the job training. And that's what IFMA is here for, to continue to help you learn, become that lifelong learner and advance on your day to day activities within your job or advance your career. What does it take to be successful in facility management? There are a number of FM skills that you must have and many aspects go into developing those skills. You do need a passion for learning and staying up to date on industry trends, becoming that lifelong learner. You, you do not need, you don't know everything and this industry is constantly evolving and changing. So staying up to date on those industry trends, what's happening in our world is going to be important for continuing to learn and to continue to advance your career. You need a solid foundation in the fundamentals of FM. And this is what the FMP is going to provide. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next few slides. You need a determination to make an impact on your organization and the confidence in your expertise, which is verified by having a credential or that knowledge and that training that you went through. Um, just for everyone to see, if you do not already, we have people joining from Abu Dhabi, from Paris and Romania. I don't think we've had anyone from Romania join us before, so welcome. I'm glad you are here today. And again, for those that may have just um, came across this live presentation, you will be able to see it again um, throughout the day on LinkedIn or on IFMA's YouTube channel. 
So the Facility Management Professional, the FMP, this is um, going to give you the foundation of FM knowledge. This credential program is made up of four competencies. And within the FM body of knowledge that IFMA identifies, there are a total of 11 competencies. The FMP is made up of those four foundational competencies. So that's going to be project management, leadership and strategy, finance and business, and operations and maintenance. These are, the FMP is globally recognized standards and best practices. So it is an ANSI accredited credential program. ANSI is the American body of ISO, the International Standards Organization. So what that means is that this um, FMP credential program and the competency courses that make up that program have all met um, and the standards needed to be designated a certificate program. So a third party came in and reviewed everything that went into making this credential program. It went into, it reviewed the subject matter experts, our job task analysis that created this, these programs. It's reviewing our questions and analyses um, that the program um, asks these questions of you on, the content, the people, everything that went into creating this credential program has been reviewed, audited, and verified by a third party as meeting the standards needed for a certificate program. So that gives you an extra value of getting a credential from IFMA because it is accredited. There are many credential programs out there that you may have come across, and it's important for you to understand, are these programs accredited? Meaning, have they been verified? Do they have that accreditation from a third party that has said that, yes, this credential program meets an expectation needed to be um, a, the global standard of a certificate program? And you can earn your credential online. Everything that you need to complete the FMP program is online. You get a pretest whenever you purchase this FMP program. There's going to be a pretest at the beginning of each one of these competencies to help you understand your base level of knowledge within that competency. Then you'll go into the online content, read the digital books. There are quizzes at the end of each chapter for you to understand are you are you grasping the concepts that this material is teaching you what are your progress checks as you go read it through this content and then at the end of each of the competencies there is a final assessment so the FMP program is going to be made up of four final assessments one final assessment for each competency that you see on the screen and that is the the final assessment is what you must pass in order to attain that FMP credential. So there is no place that you need to go and sit and take an exam. When you purchase the FMP program, you're purchasing the training and the tests that you need to pass in order to achieve that FMP credential program. So what can your FMP do for you? The FMP, as I mentioned, is made up of those four foundational competencies. So when you go through the training and gain the knowledge in those four foundational competencies, you are able to confidently communicate the value of FM to those key decision makers in your organization. And it it's those influencers, those key decision makers and those influencers in your organization. So as I mentioned previously on the slide where we had the situation with the roof leaking on the NBA um, championship or a playoff game, each aspect of those competencies that make up the FMP program or what you touch on a daily basis. That's why these competencies are foundational. So with finance and business, as I mentioned, you're able to understand um, budgeting that goes into the projects that you may need um, within your facilities, um, or it goes into budgeting for 
um, predictive and preventative maintenance, which ties into the operations and maintenance competency. The leadership and strategy is going to give you the training need to lead a facilities team, as well as give you the confidence to lead the C-suite into making um, business de decisions that are good for the facility management industry or for the facility management side of the facility that you are managing. So everything that goes into this FMP credential program is going to give you the training that you need to effic efficiently operate your facility. And it gives you real world application. This is going to expand your knowledge. The most crucial knowledge and skills required to perform this job successfully are the four foundational competencies that make up this FMP. And as you see um, for Brent Ward, who provided this quote that you see on the screen, um, when he went through this program, there were processes and strategies that he had never thought of before that he learned when he went through this program. And he mentions that on the job training is great, but some things just aren't called for every day. And so when you go through this program, you go through these trainings, you are getting that knowledge to better efficiently operate your facilities and do your job. There are real world applications with that global perspective. So as I mentioned, these programs are built from a global survey of facility practicing facility managers around the world. So when you go through these programs, you are learning the standards and best practices and on the job training for um, the competencies that make up the facility management professional from that global perspective. So it's not going to give you regional specific scenarios. You're not, if you are sitting in Saudi Arabia, you may have issues with sandstorms and dust in your facility. Whereas if you're sitting in the United Kingdom, perhaps it's, um, you know, weather related flooding or rain, heavy rainfall. So when you are going through this information, you're not only going to learn how to handle situations with stand sandstorms in your facilities, but also heavy flooding and rainfall. So you get that global perspective when you go through these trainings. And this is um, based on what FMs need to know for any facility in any vertical in industry. So some of you may be within um, educational facilities or some of you may work with um, hospital in the hospital uh, facilities. The knowledge that you learn through this program is going to apply to any industry, whether you manage a college or university campus, a unified school district, or whether you manage um, a hospital in a certain country. So the, the information that you learn is going to apply to all facility types in all industries. So it's something that you can take with you. If you decide to change careers or where instead of working in academic facilities, you decide to move to um, a hospital facility then you're able to take that credential from IFMA with you. You're able to take the training that you learned and also apply it to a different type of facility. It is not specific to any one facility. It is, a, is giving you that knowledge and that training from that global perspective so that you can apply this to any industry and any facility. So a lot of people want to understand, should I go for my FMP? Should I go for my CFM? What are the differences between the two? Where in my experience level should I start? This is a great slide for you to compare the differences between the FMP and the CFM. The FMP is going to build your knowledge. It's giving you training in those four foundational competencies. The CFM does not train you. The CFM is a certification that tests your knowledge of all 11 competencies and your application of that knowledge. The CFM is going to give you certain scenarios where you answer these questions based on your experience level um, as a practicing facility professional. So it's giving you, it's testing your application of your knowledge and your experience within the industry. 
The FMP is made up of four foundational competencies. As I mentioned, there are a total of 11 competencies that make up the facility management body of knowledge. The FMP is made up of those four foundational competencies. The CFM is going to test your knowledge on all 11 competencies. FMP, when you purchase that FMP program, you're purchasing the training that you need to build that foundation. Everything you need to complete is online. The learning, those tests that you must complete, all online when you purchase that FMP program. The CFM, there is no training required. You do have to meet eligibility requirements before you can submit your application for the CFM. The, we say that um, the eligibility requirements are you have to have at least five years of experience in the majority of the 11 competencies. We do have self-assessment online that you can conduct to help you understand what are um, the day-to-day -day scenarios and job roles and responsibilities that you must have experience in to help you understand, do you have those five years in the majority of those 11 competencies? So we do have that self-assessment online at IFMA's website to help you understand if you are eligible to apply for the CFM exam. The FMP is when you, you complete that program when you've completed and passed all four final assessments online. When you purchase that FMP program, you're purchasing the tests you need to get that FMP credential. Once you've passed all four, then you submit your application to IFMA. Once it's approved, you have that FMP designation. And once you have that credential, it is a lifelong credential. There is no maintenance required to maintain your FMP credential. This is very different from the CFM. The CFM, once you submit your application, um, say you decided you've shown that you are eligible to sit for that CFM exam, you have to schedule a proctored exam to sit for that CFM exam. So you do have to go to a testing center. Um, it's very, you, it's very um, under lock and key. So you have to hand over your cell phone. When you go and enter that testing center, you have to make sure that there's nothing on you so that you're, there's no um, cheating that happens on the exam you do have to go to that testing center. Because of the pandemic, we have created an option for you to schedule a virtually proctored CFM exam. There are a number of requirements that must be met for you to be eligible to do that virtual proctoring. Um, and one of those being, you do need a computer with a webcam. Someone will log in and watch you take that CFM exam. They review the room around you to ensure that there's nothing out of sight that you would be using to help you with the exam. So there are certain requirements um, that you must meet in order to be eligible to do the virtual proctored exam. But the majority of people will go to a testing center. Um, we use Prometric Testing Center. They have locations, um, hundreds of locations around the globe. So it is very likely that there is a testing center near you, either in your same city or you know, within um, a few hours drive or flight to take that CFM exam. And because the CFM exam is a certification, you do have to recertify the CFM certification every three years. You have to show that you are maintaining your knowledge, staying up to date on trends, doing additional training, becoming that lifelong learner to recertify your CFM certification. So you do have to show that you are doing these things in between your recertification period so that you are demonstrating that you are still a practicing facility professional. And I want to show you a quick slide on all of the programs that IFMA offers. 
We discussed the FMP the majority of the time today. Again, for those that have that want that um, foundation in the FM knowledge, it is for those looking to increase their knowledge in those four foundational competencies. And then I just compared the FMP to the CFM IFMA's certification program. This is for experienced professionals looking to verify their experience, their credibility in those 11 competencies. So this, the FMP is providing training. The CFM is a verification of your knowledge. It's a, the pinnacle achievement for practicing professionals that have you know, more than five years of experience within the industry. It is saying that you are a verified professional um, competent in those 11 competencies. We also have this Essentials of Facility Management program that you see all the way on the left. This is not a credential, but a training program. It's made up of 10 modules, and it's going to be those we typically say who are new to facility management. They may have been, they have less than a year of experience, or therefore those that have been facility management adjacent. So some of those blue collar workers, um, you know, those technicians and maintenance, um, maintenance managers, those are going to be people that um, or maybe working their way into facility management. And this program is going to help them identify what are those key terms, the terminology, the daily tasks of a facility manager um, so that they can you know, learn more about that role and pursue a career within facility management. And then we have our SFP here, our Sustainability Facility Professional. This is going to be those looking to make a desire on their organization's economic, environmental, and social bottom lines. Um, it is going to help them understand efficiency, data-driven decision-making, and sustainable practices for your facility. We like to say that you should have a um, a knowledge in the foundational competencies before pursuing the SFP. Because much of what you learn in those foundational competencies are what also make up this SFP program. So if you are not familiar with the foundational competencies, then the FMP might be a great place for you to start. If you have that knowledge and you want to expand that knowledge within sustainable practices, then the SFP would be the next logical step for you. And as I mentioned um, about the ANSI accreditation, the FMP, SFP, and the CFM are all ANSI accredited credential programs. And again, that's providing, um, it protects the integrity and the value and the reputation of the credential you have. Um, and it's providing that unbiased review of IFMA's credential programs to meet that global standard. So then IFMA also has individual training courses for each one of the competency courses that make up the facility management body of knowledge. So all 11 competencies that you see on the screen here are what makes up the facility management body of knowledge. The four that you see on the top are the foundational four and those make up the FMP program. The CFM exam is going to test your knowledge and application of that knowledge on all 11 of these competencies. So this is a very unique way that IFMA has designed the training courses so that it provides flexible targeted training based on what your needs are. You do not have to purchase one program that includes all 11 competencies. You do not even have to purchase the entire FMP program. If you want additional training and knowledge in leadership and strategy, so you have the techniques and the experience to talk to the C-suite level, then you can purchase just the leadership and strategy competency course. If you want more training on facility information management and technology management, you can purchase just this one course. And so each one of these courses contains everything you need to complete that course online. 
There's the digital content, the digital books. There are the chapter assessments that are quizzes that I mentioned to test your progress throughout the course as you go through it. And then each one of these has a final assessment at the end. When you've completed that final assessment, you do receive a certificate of completion stating you've completed that training course. You also receive a digital badge. You may see some colleagues that have claimed, say, their um, facility information management and technology management digital badge on LinkedIn. You've seen some people claiming these badges. This is a great way for you to show your colleagues, your supervisor, others out there that you have completed this training, you now have the knowledge and skills that you learned when you've done this training um, and you are staying up to date on the most recent trends within that specific competency for facility management. And each one of these are specific to facility management. So even though it says project management, this is project management as it relates to facilities project management. So each one of these are facilities um, specific courses. And all of them are accredited for ISET CEUs. So if you are someone that has a credential in another organization, and are looking to maintain that certification, IFMA's courses do give you those continuing education units so that you can take these courses while also doing what you need to to maintain a certification with another organization. So as I mentioned, this is flexible targeted training meant to fill gaps in knowledge that you have. How do you know what your gaps are? IFMA offers a, um, a self-assessment tool to help you evaluate what are your skills within the 11 competencies. And when you conduct this assessment, it creates a blueprint for your training. So as you see on the screen here, it's going to be a series of 200 questions, or I'm sorry, 300 questions that you are going to answer, you know, what is your experience level with that certain question and scenario that's being answered? Do you have no experience with it? Do you have some awareness, a basic limited experience, intermediate, advanced, or expert recognized authority from a question that is asked on the self-assessment. And once you've completed the self-assessment, um, it's going to help you identify what are your strengths and weaknesses within the 11 competencies. It does create a report at the end that you can share with a supervisor or a team lead to understand what training needs um, you need to help develop you within your position. This is set at a minimal fee. Um, we have $25 for full members of IFMA and $50 for non-members of IFMA. So if you are someone that wants to understand what are the gaps you have in your knowledge um, within the facility management body of knowledge, this is a great tool to help you define what those are so that you can understand what specific training you need to fill those gaps so that you aren't purchasing a program you don't need. You're able to identify what specific training courses you need to fill your gaps in knowledge. And for supervisors out there that maybe be managed that are maybe managing um, multiple facilities teams where it's encompassing all different levels of experience and knowledge, this is a great tool to implement to your team to help you understand and your team where are those gaps within your team, how can you create bring training to your team to fill those gaps so that you are operating more efficiently um, as a, an entire facilities team. So support for ch achieving your FMP. IFMA offers a number of resources available to you to help you complete that program. We don't just want to provide the training to you. We want to make sure that you are completing that training. So we have a 
FMP study guide that gives you some examples of how to organize your time and approach the FMP credential program so that you are completing it in the time that you would like. You can set a goal to complete it in as little as four months or within 12 months. So this study guide is going to help you organize your time and how to approach the content so that you can complete it in a goal that it fits your um, maybe your um, team goals. We also have um, engage groups that help you connect with others earning their FMP. So if any of you are already members of IFMA, you may be familiar with IFMA's Engage, which is an online community. We've created new groups for those pursuing the credential programs so that you can network with others also going through this program. It's a great way to keep that accountability on yourself to study. You can find partners partners going through the program that you may want to form an online study group session with. It's a great place to ask questions. Just a, a great way to work with others around the globe also pursuing that FMP credential program. IFMA also offers virtual instructor-led classes. Again, this is providing extra accountability and real-time expert guidance. So these are going to be led by an IFMA qualified instructor. So you'll attend one webinar session a week. This is on top of the online program that you're going through. So if you are someone who finds, you know, you're just not fully grasping the content in the leadership and strategy, competency course and you want some additional help from an IFMA qualified instructor. You can join a virtual instructor-led class so that you are having the material taught to you by a qualified instructor. It's a great time to ask questions of that instructor. You're also put into a class of additional people going through the program so you can ask questions. You have that instructor giving you a high level overview of the material. And then we also have localized training. So for those of you that are sitting in the United Arab Emirates or within Hong Kong or Singapore, we have IFMA chapters that are able to conduct these training courses, as well as education training affiliates. So these affiliates are going to be organizations that have been vetted and approved to conduct IFMA's training courses. If you are someone looking at an organization to attend either a virtual course or a classroom course, please make sure that organization is an approved training provider of IFMA. If it is not, I cannot guarantee you what the material is that you are learning, who that person teaching the course is, or how the material was developed. If you attend a training course from IFMA by an approved training provider, you are getting IFMA's training material, the correct training course, it's being led by an approved IFMA instructor, and everything has been vetted to ensure that that course you are taking by that training provider is the same quality that you would receive with a course anywhere else in the world. So please verify that the, your partner is, um, an, or the organization you're looking at is an IFMA training affiliate. You can go to IFMA's website where we have a list of our approved providers <clears throat> so that you are attending a course that is approved by IFMA. So IFMA membership is also going to be a great resource for you as you go through these programs. It's networking with additional experts. You get that access to the Engage forum for the FMP. We also have a knowledge library that is a collection of additional online articles, recordings, research papers, blog posts, all housed in one digital library that you can access to stay, become, like I've mentioned, that lifelong learner, reviewing things that are happening, current trends within the industry so that you're maintaining your knowledge and up to date, keeping up to date for your job. 
Becoming a member also means you do receive discounts on IFMA's training. And then we have that group training support. So we are, if you are a supervisor that is looking to have your facilities team go through the training, we are there to help you track their progress, support your learners, provide guidance, resources, and best practices for completing the FMP so that we can make sure that every person who goes through that FMP program is doing everything they can to complete that program and gain that training and that knowledge that is within that program. So because you have stuck with me throughout this entire presentation, um, we are offering some special savings for you. You can use the discount code your training 50 to receive $50 off of the essential series or one of those FM competency courses. Your training 100 is going to get you $100 off the FMP bundle. So that's going to include all four competency courses or $100 off the SFP or the core competency course bundle. And that core competen competency course bundle is going to be a bundle of the additional seven competencies that make up the 11. So it's going to be the seven outside of the foundational four that make up the FMP. These discounts are valid through the end of June, so you have a couple weeks to maybe get approval from a supervisor or get the buy-in from your organization to help support the training. Um, you do not need to be an IFMA member to receive these discounts, so this is um, something that you can take advantage of even if you are not a member. And then if you have any questions at all about which program may be right for you or want to discuss your options, you can reach out to corporateconnections at ifma.org. This is the URL to IFMA's main website. There is a convince your boss document that you can provide to a supervisor or a team lead to help them to help make the case for supporting training within IFMA. This is the URL to our entire course catalog. I mentioned our credential programs and you know, our training programs with the competency courses, but IFMA also offers a number of short video on demand courses. There are you know, 30 minute courses on there for you to watch a short video and also receive CEUs for that course. Um, these are, tend to be made up of past conference sessions or it's been developed by our content team from an emerging trend or topic that is happening right now within facility management. So these are there are also additional short courses for you to purchase and those are categorized by the 11 competencies as well. So if you take the say the leadership and strategy course through IFMA and you want to understand what other courses do we have that fall within that leadership and strategy um, category, you can go to the IFMA website and see what other courses IFMA offers that are made up of that leadership and strategy category. And then I also want to provide IFMA's EMEA website URL that you see on the screen. And then if you have you know, additional colleagues that are also interested in the training programs, please reach out to us. We can provide you you know, discounts on the programs if you have multiple colleagues that are also interested or for a supervisor, if you're looking to train your entire facilities team, please reach out to us so that you make sure that we get you the best pricing available for your team. So that is the end of the presentation today. Um, I think we had a couple questions on pricing for the FMP program. That information is available on IFMA's website, ifma.org. Um, I believe it is $1,550 US dollars for the entire FMP program for members of IFMA. So that is going to include all four competencies that make up the FMP program. Non-members, um, the price is going to be 
a little bit more expensive. So if you are someone that is looking to continue your lifelong learning journey with IFMA, it may be of benefit to look at purchasing a membership with IFMA because you do receive special pricing as a full member of IFMA. So take a look at what the cost for a membership would be for you, what additional savings you may get from um, becoming a full member of IFMA and purchasing training courses, it may save you more money in the long run. And somebody is also asking what the cost for the CFM course is. So as a reminder, there is no training that you must take for the CFM. And I'll go back to the slide that shows the difference between the two. There is no course that you take to apply for the CFM exam. The CFM is a certification. You apply to sit for the exam to achieve that certification. <clears throat> if you are someone that wants to understand, are you prepared for that CFM exam? Or do you need any training before you take that CFM exam? Um, we have a number of options for you. That self-assessment tool that I mentioned is going to be key to understand if you have any knowledge gaps. You also need to make sure that you're eligible to sit for that CFM exam. Do you have five or more years of experience within the majority of the 11 competencies? If you do not, then you are not eligible to sit for that CFM exam. If you do, then you can submit your application to apply for that CFM exam today. If you, again, if you want to understand, are you ready? Are you prepared? IFMA does offer a CFM prep workshop. That is a virtual course. It's four hours and that's done over two days with a qualified instructor that's going to review the methodology behind the exam. Excuse me. So with that course, you're going to understand how the questions are asked on that CFM exam so that you approach it with the right mindset. Um, it's going to review the um, methodology of the exam, the topics, the concepts. It is not training. You are not going to review any of the 11 competency courses within that course. If you are someone that wants training in any of those 11 competency courses, that's where IFMA's um, training courses come into effect for you. So there is a training course for each one of the 11 competencies that the CFM exam tests your knowledge on. And so that's going to be up to you to determine if you want to take any of these courses before sitting for the CFM exam. You do not have to take any training courses to sit for that CFM exam. So um, if you still are unsure kind of what your next steps are, what the right course is, um, I'm happy to talk with you um, more in more depth online. Um, and also I will go through and respond to all the questions asked in the chat after the presentation to follow up so that you can also contact me directly, whether it be on LinkedIn or emailing that corporate connections um, email address, and we can um, provide further assistance to you. And for those that um, want to know how to become a member of IFMA, you can log on to IFMA's website, ifma.org. It's very clear at the top of the page, join now um, so that you can become a member of IFMA and take advantage of the uh, full member pricing as well as the additional benefits that membership offers you. Um, other benefits of membership include a free um, video on demand course, one a quarter. Um, so those are very popular. We have people taking advantage of the free course that membership allows. You also receive the free introduction to facility management, that first module of the Essentials of Facility Management program. So that's a great opportunity to review information, to possibly see if this is a training course that you want to share with other colleagues. Um, but there are other benefits of membership as well, um, joining local chapters or communities to network with those professionals around the globe that are either within your local city or within a similar industry, a vertical that you're in. 
Okay, thank you everyone for joining. If you have, again, any additional questions that come to mind, please reach out to us um, and we are happy to assist you further. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.